Hey, this is Dan with School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm going to talk about how you can use dates within formulas to output certain days of the week that you need to see in your sheets. This video comes off of a question in the smart sheet community I just answered, asking how they can see the next Saturday that's coming up with a formula. It would either show if the current date Saturday it would show that day, otherwise it would show the immediate following Saturday. So first thing to understand is the way that Smartsheet handles dates is the numerical day uh, within the week. So there's a formula called weekday, and this outputs a number between one and seven, depending on the day of the week. And so you can see this, and it begins on Sunday, as you can see. The example that we started with was how do we get the next Saturday? It's actually um, a really simple formula. If we want to get next Saturday off today, all we need to do is go equals today, and then we're going to add seven minus the weekday number of today. And you can see here, this gives us Saturday of June the 1st. So I'll open this up again. What this is doing is it's going to take the value for today, and then it's going to add seven to it, and it's gonna subtract whatever the weekday number here is. So it's going to always, it's basically you're adjusting for the fact that you're going to add seven. One thing to, um, to note is if this was on a Saturday, it would just not do anything because the weekday of Saturday is seven. So seven minus seven is zero. It would just give you the day. So you could do the next one if weekday day equals seven, then you would do today plus seven. Otherwise, you would just add in, let's see here. Okay. So that would give you your Saturday of the following week. All right, so something else that we can do with this is apply this concept, but not go off today's date. So I'm gonna put in Today's date here, we need to make this a date column for it to work, of course. And now I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna go and add three and sort of go down for a little while just to get some dates. And it's actually quite simple. We can take this formula we have here and replace today with date input at row and replace this today with also date input at row. Delete the extra parentheses. And now, first two values are the same, June 1st. Once we hit June 3rd, it's moving up to June 8th. Actually, to make this a little bit easier, let's just convert this so we can see. These are all Saturdays, so we're getting the next Saturday of the week every single time. Okay, so the last thing that you can do is you can get really any day that you like based on changing the weekday value. And so if we want to get the next, let's just say uh, Monday, all we would do is change this formula and find the value for Monday, which is two, replace this seven with two, and then we're going to get Mondays as we drag the formula down here. This is a sort of a, you know, really simple way to get certain dates that you like to populate. There's um, some other unnecessarily complex formulas that you might see, but this is about the simplest one I can find. Um, if you find this helpful, then please like the video and subscribe if you're keen on getting some more smart sheet videos. You can uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments about this topic or just to mention something that you have a question about that's not related, and maybe I'll make a video for you. Finally, if you uh, need some professional help with your Smartsheet environment, School of Sheets is a certified gold Smartsheet Align partner. We do system builds, modifications, the whole nine yards. There is a link in the video description, schoolofsheets.com slash work with us, where you can fill out a new client interest form. And then you'll be able to schedule a 30 minute no obligation call with me to talk about your project. So if that's of interest, check it out. Otherwise, just stay tuned for more Smartsheet videos and have a great day. Thanks.